And welcome everyone to a WCC chat. I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by Keyshawn Justice from Santa Clara. And Keyshawn, you guys were on pause, uh, came back, originally going to play BYU, that gets switched. Now you go to St. Mary's, your rival, and you beat St. Mary's, a significant win for the Broncos. So let's first go over the last part of that game against St. Mary's. Um, if you can, take me through the possession for the three and the shot that you blocked. Yeah, definitely. Um... Uh, we, we came down, they actually scored off a ball screen. It was tie game. And then immediately after that, we, we went on a, you know, like kind of a fast break where we passed the ball in and got the ball up quickly. And uh, our point guard, Christian Carlisle, he had found me on the wing. And I knew once he gave me um, the handoff that, you know, I was going to have to make a play with it. We're down to a little under 20 seconds. And so when I came off the handoff, I just shot it, felt good and went in. And then uh, coming down, we knew that we were going to have to get a stop at all costs because we're up one and uh, we knew that we were going to have to get a stop. I didn't know it was going to end up being an isolation, but it did and it, it worked out perfectly. And I knew we were going to have to do anything to, you know, get a stop. So uh, I sat down and then, you know, came up with the block. So a huge win for you guys uh, in a kind of a crazy week because the opponent changed. Uh, you didn't you didn't go against the number one team in the country, but you went against a significant rival and you get the win without playing for a couple of weeks uh what were your expectations of what this team would look like after the pause right we, we always hold ourselves to high uh standards and during that whole week of practice we were uh, you know fixing some things up from the previous week that we needed to work on and just you know we just wanted to go out there and compete at the end of the day we know that this season is always going to you know bring challenges but um when we're given that opportunity we're going to go out there and you know we're going to play we're going to play hard every single time so I mean, we just got the opportunity and we just wanted to go out there and compete. And uh, we know we're a good team. We know they were a good team. So, you know, we knew we were going to bring uh, one of our best games. So you guys are one of those teams that can't play at home, um, you know, because of the restrictions in Santa Clara County. Um, so you've got that hurdle as well. What has that been like? Yeah, that's it. That's been a uh, huge. And we just we just wanted to take care of each other. Uh, we, we knew the season was going to be different already. And now that we relocated a little bit, uh, we just stay with each other's side, stay with each other back and, you know, just go out there with every opportunity that we do get uh, to play no matter where it is or uh, no matter verse, who is first. You know, for the most part, prior to the pause, uh, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, you only really had one bad outing. Um, you know, you guys had really played well. Um, I mean, how much was that an outlier? Uh, every team goes through, a, you know, at least one of those games where it just maybe isn't your night or anything or something like that. And we just, you know, we don't want to we don't want to focus on those kind of games. We want to just prepare for every game like, you know, it's our last game possibly. So we just want to go out there uh, with a chip on our shoulder and prove ourselves every game and just take never take anybody lightly. And especially in our conference, the West Coast Conference, you can't take anybody lightly. Everybody's a good team. So we just prepare the same and we just want to go out there you know, uh, shock some people. Well, to that point, um, it's sort of a revolving door behind Gonzaga. Um, what must happen for Santa Clara to be that top challenger and to be one of the top two teams uh, in this league? Uh, prepare ourselves every game, you know, uh, uh, stay mentally strong. And like like you said, like Gonzaga is a, a great team and uh, BYU is a great team, and San Fran, all those schools that are in our conference, we don't want to take anybody lightly. And just preparing ourselves one game at a time and go out there and just compete. That's all it takes, just go out there and just compete and give it our all. But you would agree with me that Santa Clara has as much a chance of any of those other ones you listed of potentially finishing in the top two. Correct, yeah, definitely, definitely, man. We Any given night, uh, we can beat anybody and, and anybody can beat us. So. You know, we just got to go out there and, and just win games. That's all it'll take. Just go out there and compete and win games. Well, Keyshawn, I appreciate it. Stay safe in this relocation you guys are dealing with this season. Uh, not easy, but uh, I know games like the over the over the weekend make it all worth it. Um, appreciate you and uh, stay safe. Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate you guys for having me.